playlist of high voltage engineering. In this session, I will be discussing about Rogowski coil and magnetic link. First, let us discuss what do we mean by Rogowski coil? Why Rogowski coils are required? Actually, Rogowski coils are used to measure impulse current, then high speed current pulses, AC current with a high power frequency. That is why we are going to use Rogowski coil. It is developed by Walter Rogowski, one of the scientists. It comprises of a helical coil of wire with the lead from one end returning through the center of the coil to the other end. That means both the terminals are connected at the same end of the coil. I will be explaining the same thing with the help of a diagram so that concept will be very clear. The whole assembly is then wrapped around the straight conductor whose current is to be measured. That means a Rogowski coil is having a toroidal shape. Uh, the current carrying conductor will be passing through inside the Rogowski coil. Uh, the current which is flowing through the conductor that will be generating induced EMF at the Rogowski coil. That induced EMF will be measured. That means the moving current that will be directly proportional to induced EMF at Rogowski coil. So that is a concept related to Rogowski coil. Let us explain with the help of a diagram so that the concept will be very much clear. Now let us see the schematic diagram of Rogowski coil for the measurement of impulse current. So this is your current carrying conductor. You can observe the current carrying conductor over here. I of T means current which will be passing through the conductor. We have Rogowski coil over here. It is nothing but an inductor coil with a circular shape. Basically we can call it a toroid. It is basically a circular shape so it is known as toroid. And this is your delay cable. Uh, having the surge impedance Z0 and this will be the meter part. It may be CRO or DSO, any other meter. So, you have to pass your current through this conductor. That means I of T will be passing through the conductor. As a result, in the surrounding field, it get magnetized. Okay, that means magnetic field will be generated in the surrounding field. So, this magnetic field, the magnetic field, because of movement of current, there will be formation of magnetic field that magnetic field will be interacting with the toroid. As a result, EMF will be induced in the toroid. That EMF is given by VI of T. Basically, it's a voltage. So that voltage will be appeared across the meter. If you connect to an integrator, if you connect to an integrator over here, you can get the total voltage at CRO. So that's a peculiarity. You can design for one integrator. I'll be redrawing the modified circuit diagram so that uh, one integrator can be connected and you will be collecting the total output across the meter. One more important information. The voltage induced in the coil here, VI of T. Voltage induced in the coil is proportional to rate of change of current in the straight conductor. That means current is passing over here. This VI of T, this can be easily calculated by applying Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction. VI of T is given by M into di by dt. M into di by dt. Where M is known as mutual inductance. M measures the mutual inductance of the Rogowski coil. So this much of voltage will come across this point. Right now I have drawn the modified circuit diagram of Rogowski coil. Uh, we have Rogowski coil. It is basically a toroid. You can see this is a toroidal shaped coil that is known as Rogowski coil. And uh, this is your current carrying conductor that will be moving at the center of the Rogowski coil. It's a three dimensional view. You have to imagine such a way that uh, the current carrying conductor that will be moving through the center of the Rogowski coil. Then the output of the Rogowski coil that will be connected to an integrator. So you can design an integrator with the help of linear integrator circuit. For example, you can take open. LM347 IC you can take or any other uh, 741 any IC you can take then you can design for uh, integrator okay now by choosing the suitable value of resistor that means R3 you can take 10k then C1 10 nanofarad and R1 you can take 330k therefore you have to design a suitable integrator such a way that you can take the whole output across the meter so after connecting the integrator, you will be getting the total voltage which is generated inside the Rogowski coil. That can be done with the help of integrator circuit. 
whenever current is passing through the conductor. For example, impulse current will be passing through this conductor. Due to electromagnetic induction, the voltage will be generated across the Rogowski coil. That voltage will be moving on to integrator such a way that you are able to calculate overall output across Rogowski coil. That output will be measured at this point. So how to calculate the total voltage appearing across the integrator? So let us do the basic calculation. How to calculate output voltage? So it will be in terms of time as a function of time. V of t is given by 1 by Rc, 1 by Rc, so 1 by R1 C1, so here R1 and C1 will be there, so we can take the same thing, integral 0 to t, V of t dt, V of t will be this one only, input of the integrator, V of t dt. As you know that, V of t is equal to m di by dt. V of t is equal to m di by dt. Same V of t has to be substituted over here. So, V of t equal to 1 by R1 C1 into integral of m di by dt. Instead of V of t, you can put m di by dt into dt. Here limit will be 0 to t. Here what you can do? dt and dt will be getting cancelled. You can cancel dt and dt. Why? Because similar terms are there. m is a constant term, mutual inductance. So m can be taken outside. R1 C1 into integral of dI. What is the value of integral of dI? Integral of dI means I. Okay. So V of t can be written as m divided by R1 C1 into integral of dA is nothing but I of t. Integral of dA is nothing but I of t. This you can utilize for solving problem and you can go for design also. So from this equation we can make out V V naught of t is directly proportional to I of t. Okay, the induced voltage, induced voltage that will be directly proportional to uh, the current which is passing through the conductor. So, now let us discuss the advantages of Rogowski coil. The first one is no iron core loss to saturate. No iron core to saturate. That's the first advantage. And uh, iron loss is also negligible. Similarly, simple temperature compensation. The requirement of temperature compensation will be very much simple. It is not a complicated thing. Similarly, low construction cost. Basically, it's a toroid. It will, construction will be very much simple. And no current upper limit. That's also another advantage regarding Rogowski coil. These are the few advantages of Rogowski coil. Now, on the opposite hand, there are few drawbacks. That means design is somewhat complicated. You have to go for uh, mathematical analysis and the design will be somewhat complicated. Moreover, you are going to use the integrator. So, the design of integrator is also somewhat difficult. Okay. And you have to maintain the integrator. Uh, integrator components are too delicate. Too delicate. So these are the main drawback of uh, Rogowski coil. Now let's discuss the applications. The first one is uh, lightning strike measurement. By using Rogowski coil, it is possible to measure lightning strikes. Similarly, uh, large AC current measurement in case of arc furnaces. So that is also another application. Uh, then you can monitor the fault current by using Rogowski coil. That's the third application. Similarly, Design of power semiconductor. Some modified power semiconductor can be de designed with the help of this Rogowski coil. So, while doing research on power semiconductor devices, whenever you are doing for R&D applications, uh, you can use Rogowski coil. So, these are the various applications of Rogowski coil. I, I, I would like to mention one company which is going to produce Rogowski coil. That is uh, Janitza. One of the company, you can mention here, you can observe here, uh, Janitza is one of the company, they are going to provide different varieties of Rogowski coil. So one specification I would like to mention you, that is uh, 4 kilo ampere. Up to 4 kilo ampere uh, impulse current can be measured by using this particular Rogowski coil and operating voltage is 24 volt. It is actually plastic covered. Okay, overall body will be under plastic covered. Uh, so this is one of the example of uh, Rogowski coil. Now I would like to discuss about
the magnetic links. This is another device. Okay, but similar to Rogowski coil, the measurement and all is similar to Rogowski coil, but this is entirely separate device. Now let us discuss about the importance of magnetic links. So why magnetic links are required? So magnetic links are used for the measurement of peak value of impulse current. So that's a peculiarity of magnetic links. So what is magnetic link? So magnetic links are nothing but it is a arrangement of high retentively steel strips arranged in a circular or drum like structure. High retentively steel strips in a circular shape. At the center, you need to pass the current carrying conductor. You have to arrange the current carrying conductor at the center where your high impulse current will be passing through the current carrying conductor. As you know that these strips having one property that is known as remnant magnetism. That property is known as remnant magnetism. It should be understood. Remnant magnetism. These strips are following the property of remnant magnetism. That means whenever current carrying conductor is placed inside the circular area, that steel strips will store the certain amount of magnetic energy even though the current has been uh, vanished or even though current has been disconnected still certain amount of magnetic energy will be stored inside the steel strips that property is known as remnant magnetism it is mainly applicable for ferromagnetic material all right thereafter you have to measure remnant magnetism with the help of laboratory any of the laboratory any of the high voltage laboratory setup you need to measure uh, how much amount of remnant magnetism will be occurred in that steel strips that amount of remnant magnetism that is directly proportional to peak value of impulse current so this is the way how you can measure uh, the peak value of impulse current by using magnetic links very simple concept so in this session i have discussed about rogowski coil it is basically a toroid shaped coil and uh, it obeys the principle of Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction. So along with the uh, Rogowski coil, if you arrange it one integrator, then you can able to measure the total value of output voltage and that is directly proportional to the current which is passing through the conductor. So current can be measured in terms of voltage. That is about Rogowski coil. Similarly, uh, we have discussed about magnetic links. It works based on the principle of remnant magnetism and you can measure the peak value of impulse, impulse current. So that's a peculiarity of magnetic links. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you found this channel useful, please do subscribe. Thank you very much for your continuous support.